Hello, my wonderful one and me, listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. It has been reported that Guinea has won the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashifa Jubal Ahmed Tunubu, led ECOWAS against military intervention in Niger Republic. Guinea issued the warning in a statement while expressing its solidarity with Niger Republic, said it would not participate in measures against Niger. And that sanctions against military regime in Niger, including military intervention, are an option that cannot be, be a solution to the current problem, but would lead to a human disaster when consequences could go beyond the borders of Niger. The Republic of Guinea has won the economic communities of West African states. Echo was shared by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashiwa Jubala Metunubu, against any planned sanction and military intervention against the military juntas in the Republic of Niger. Guinea issued the warning in a statement while expressing its solidarity with Niger Republic, saying it would not participate in measures against Niger and that sanctions against military regime in Niger, including military intervention, are an option that could cannot be a solution to the current problem but would lead to a human disaster whose consequences would go beyond the borders of Niger. The statement added that at a time when the young population of the ECOWAS area are experiencing a human strategy in Tunisia and the Mediterranean, the concerns of the leaders of the sub-region should be more oriented towards strategic social economic issues for the achievement of their aspirations than to look at the fourth fate of the fallen president. The statement reads, position of Guinea on sanctioning Niger since the 26th of July 2023, the people of Guinea, headed by the National Committee of Rally for Development, CNRD, has been following with great interest the evolution of the socio-political situation in the sister Republic of Niger, which has led to the assumption of responsibility by the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Fatherland, CNSP. The Guinea authorities pay tribute to the brief popul- population of Niger for their high sense of patriotism and salute the Republican spirit and maturity of the defense and security forces who favor the best interest of their nation by choosing to come together to find solution to Niger's problem. The CNRD remains convinced that the new authorities will make every effort to guarantee stability and harmony in Niger and the sub-region. The sanctions measures advocated by ECOWAS, including military intervention, are an option that cannot be a solution to the current problem but would lead to a human disaster whose consequences could go beyond the borders of Niger. As a result, the CNRD refrains from applying this illegitimate and inhuman sanctioning against the brotherly people and the Nigerian authorities and urge ECOWAS to return to better feelings. The Republic of Guinea reaffirms with this communique its pan africanist vision by bringing its solidarity to the Nigerian population and inviting the new CNSP authorities to, re- to preserve unity and national cohesion. The CNRD emphasizes that a military intervention against Niger would de facto lead to the disol- dislocation of ECOWAS. Similarly, the broader people of Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Guinea aspire to more recognition and respect for their sovereignty. In addition, the CNRD wishes to clarify the sanctions taken and the threats made at the summit of July 30, 2023 do not in any way commit the Republic of Guinea. At a time when the young population of ECOWAS area are experiencing human tragedy in Tunisia and the Mediterranean, the concerns of the leaders of the sub-region should be more oriented towards strategic socio-economic issues for the achievement of their aspiration than to look at the fate of fallen president. The Republic of Guinea, which is a, co- which is a country in West Africa bordered by the Atlantic Ocean. Guinea has a population of 13.5 million. It is a coastal country in Africa. It borders the Atlantic Ocean to the west, 
Guinea Bissau to the northwest, Senegal to the north, Mali to the northeast, Cote d'Ivoire to the southwest, and Sierra Leone and Liberia to the south. It sometimes refer it is sometimes referred to as the Guinea Conakry after the capital of Conakry. To distinguish it from other territories in the Epinops region, such as Guinea Bissau and Equatorial Guinea. Guinea has a population of 30.5 million and an area of 245,857 square kilometers. Formerly French Guinea, it achieved independence in 1958. Guinea has a history of military coup d'etat. After the case of authoritarian rule in 2010, it, was, it held its first democratic election. As it continued to hold multi-party election, the countries continue to face ethnic conflicts, corruption, and abuses by military and police. In 2011, the United States government claimed that torture by security forces and abuse of women, children, including female genital mutilation, were ongoing human rights issues. In 2021, a military function overthrew President Alpha Conde and suspended the constitution. Muslims represent 85% of the population. The country is divided into four geographical regions, Maritime Guinea or the Atlantic Coast, the Forta de Gileon or Middle Guinea Island, the Upper Guinea Savannah region in the Northeast, and Guinea Forestier region of tropical forest. French, the official language of Guinea, is a language of communication in schools, in government administration and the media. More than 24 indigenous languages are spoken and the lang largest are Suzu, Pula and Man Maninki, Man Maninka, which dominates respectively the Maritime Guinea, Fonta Jaleon and Upper Guinea, while Guinea for is is linguistically diverse. Guinea economy is most dependent on agriculture, mineral production, and this is the world's second largest pork producer of barquette and as deposits of diamonds and gold. The country was at the core of the 2014 Ebola outbreak. The Republic of Guinea has currently won the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu, who is also the chairman of ECOWAS against the military intervention in Niger Republic, issuing the warning in a statement while expressing his solidarity with Niger Republic, saying it would not participate in measures against Niger and that Sanctions against military regime in Niger, including military intervention, are an option that cannot be a solution to the current problem but will lead to human disasters whose consequences could go beyond the border of Niger. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.